Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a massive Friday on FC25 with the brand new Total Rush promo that is dropping today, which we now have official leaked stats for the players that are coming in packs today. And the upgrades, once again, look really, really good, especially for some really big name players that are in this promo as well. Of course, there's big SBCs that we expect to be a part of content today, as well as Evos and objectives. And we're all so curious. This is called Total Rush. How is it going to change the way that we play the rush mode? Hopefully it gives us more events, more objectives, and just more opportunity to have fun in probably the most fun game mode on the game. That's the biggest question that I have for today, but we also have to talk about the market which has flown since division rivals rewards especially on that mid to top tier but what's going to happen today on a promo friday will it mirror the last two weeks of road to the knockouts or will it be different we'll talk through the scenario today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now let's go to yesterday's content first really quickly and cover what we had a surprise player of the month Kavadit Skellia. We were all expecting Pulisic to get the player of the month. Kavadit Skellia ends up winning the vote, and the SBC, it's okay. 245,000 coins for this card that is a decent upgrade over his inform. If you're running a Serie A team, which of course those links are everywhere right now, he's a 5 star, 5 star left winger. Very good card. 5 star, 5 star is rare at this stage of the game. Great playstyles as well. Travella, technical, finesse. Like, what more can you ask for? He's got even Trickster for the face shot animations, right? The only issue that I have with this card is he does not have center attacking mid like his inform did. But this one has inside forward plus plus on the left wing. So, 250k, it's doable. If you have a Serie A team that you think you're going to continue to stick with, if you want that 5-star, five 5-star, five he does not have a playstyle plus, though. And it, we're getting to that stage where the playstyle plus is, not that they're 100% necessary, but they're starting to feel a little bit more necessary kind of separating what's really good in meta versus what's starting to fall behind even in this early stage of the game at least in my opinion but that sbc is out and craftable there also yesterday we had marquee matchups obviously nation based because of the international break that is going on right now i believe that maybe some belgian players and maybe some german and netherlands players were up a little bit on the marquee yesterday i'm not sure if they're staying inflated but this is probably a decent set of sbcs to complete if you want some tradable packs and then also we have to talk about this there was an evolution dropped yesterday guys and a lot of opinions on this one in my opinion this evo is a w yes it is paid it's 50 000 coins 800 fc points the magic knights evo but the requirements are what make this one really really different guys you cannot chain any cards into this evolution you see the the rarity down there rare one of the requirements is it has to be a rare card and since the overall is minimum 75 you can only put a rare gold into this evolution which means you could do this evo and then chain it afterwards but a lot of people who did maybe a power shot evo for a lower rated card were really hoping that they could put that player into this new evo and unfortunately that does not work but the upgrade that you get here is actually pretty good and it also brings back the first stat limits on these Evo upgrade for attributes here that we've seen in about a week. So it seems like the, all the Evo glitches and problems have been fixed now for sure. But this is actually pretty nice. You do get a Trivella playstyle. You get Poacher Plus as well. For a striker card, that's very good. Those are both very good. A roll and a playstyle. That's a nice upgrade. The stat upgrade is pretty good too, in my opinion. There's some really good cards that fit in this, guys. Honestly, like I have an untradeable Rashford. This is probably the marquee player, one of the two that fit this evolution that go crazy. Marcus Rashford goes up to 88 shooting. That is a huge shooting boost. This evolution does not boost dribbling, unfortunately, but it does boost, of course, the shooting and the passing a good amount and physical as well. Plus the Trivella for Rashford with his power shot already. Actually, if you look inside of the in-game stats, Marcus Rashford would have 99 shot power with power shot plus that is crazy for 50,000 coins i think he would go for more than 50k on the market if that was his card same thing with angel correa this card looks really really good as well for 50,000 coins and getting some games in i think that's worth the evo there in my opinion now if you have these gold cards of course because they fit evos they're going up a lot on the market rashford yesterday was what 7k 6,000 coins he went all the way to like 30 40,000 coins in the peak went back down to 16 and now he's 21k so those gold cards are definitely inflated for this evolution right here here's my advice to this one 
if you don't want to spend the 50k on it right away, I do believe that this could be a potential, like this Matisse Tell right here, who is a double Evo potential out of this right now. You go into Magic Knights and then into the Power Shot Evo. This evolution does have potential to have chain Evos down the line, but what you have to be looking out for is this evolution gives a plus 5 on the overall rating. So if you put somebody in it like Lookman uh, or even an 80 rated card like Joao Felix, they're going to end up being 85 rated, which as of right now, this is a max... 83 overall for that evolution that's one of the highest max overall ratings that we have seen so far so i don't think you'd be able to upgrade somebody who you put into that evo very soon if it's a higher rated player that's just kind of something to think about with that evolution there plenty of opportunities of course now this is where yesterday's content we have to wrap it up with this the preseason reward packs guys were given out yesterday but a lot of you guys noticed i'm having the same issue we're missing some packs. I completed all five of the preseason FC24 objectives to get the packs in FC25, and I did not get five packs. If you completed all of them last year, you should have gotten five packs, a hero player pick, and an icon player pick, both on loan, right? I only got the hero player pick and three packs. So I'm missing two of them, which is an 82 times 10 and an 84 times 5. EA is aware of the issue. I don't think they've publicly said anything about it, but they know that it is a problem. So hopefully we'll be getting those packs turned to us soon. You see this comments on my tweet from yesterday. I got one pack. I'm missing a pack. I got two. Thought I did everything, you know? So I think a lot of people are missing some of this right now. Some people did get everything. And of course, this was like a month ago, almost a month and a half ago that we did these objectives in FC24. So it's probably going to be easy to forget even what you got done then. But that's kind of the situation with those preseason packs and uh, rewards that carried forward from the work we did in 24. Hopefully that gets sorted soon. I was really hoping to open these packs today. I'm still going to open these packs today for the total rush promo but i was hoping to have all of those packs to have even bigger and better packs and more to open for today now speaking of packs division rivals rewards yesterday guys sent the market to the moon once again but in the more specific areas not everything on the market is up in fact a lot of prices are down but it's that top tier meta and out of packs cards including icons and heroes guys this is the index 100 right wednesday drop off on the market we had the hero pack right we had the panic drop 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 before rivals rewards we had a bit of a rise as people started investing for what we thought was going to be a good rise in the market and we did have a really good rise but you can see here the market dropped with rewards once again and then it's just been going up since now the part of the market that's up the most look at this the icon market yesterday before division rivals it was 117 points it is now 125, almost 126 points. That is an insane rise on the index for the icons. And some of the heroes had rises that were super crazy as well. Obviously, a lot of people right now are trying to figure out the new meta. So some of these uh, heroes and icons are going up because of the different playstyle pluses that they have. But JJ Okocha was 700k yesterday. And look at this rise. He's up in the 900,000 coin range, currently even a million coins. Now, some of these cards probably are a little bit too inflated for their own good. Um, but they're selling at crazy prices right now, honestly, guys. And it's because of the number of coins that Division Bibles rewards and Foot Champs rewards have been continuing to put on this market. It's making that top tier of players continue to go up in value as people have more coins. And they're able to afford these players. Look at this Gabrielle from 46,000 coins to 60K. This is just a simple 87 rated inform Premier League center back. These are the types of players we want to look at going forward on Thursdays with Division Rivals rewards. Out of packs, informs, promo cards, icons, heroes, and like 100 thousand coin and above players on the gold part of the market because those are the cards that have gone up the most teo hernandez who teas is going up some virgil van dyke who's coming back into packs today right he went up a lot i mean bon mati salah was two i think 17 before rivals rewards and he went to like 260 yeah he was 260 000 coins yesterday look at this rise right crazy rise for salah too so that's the part of the market that is probably going to come down today a little bit but that's the part of the market that we need to remember to look at remember to look at every single Thursday. Now we're going to talk more about the market as well, but honestly guys, you see me, I have a lot of my coins liquid at the moment. I still have a Frimpong for our road to the knockouts. A lot of those cards that went up yesterday, you guys remember what's been happening on Fridays. I think it might be a decent time to cash out on some of those gold cards because once again, I do expect market drops today and we'll get into that here in a second, especially with how juiced this new promo is potentially looking. It could create some panic selling, just like we've seen recently on Promo Fridays. Now, 
that's enough yapping. Let's talk about today, Friday content. What's happening today? First of all, we're going to get an early piece of content, an early SBC today. Cole Palmer has one player of the month. It has been leaked. Stats or prediction, he needs to play style plus for sure. He's got the inform card, of course, deserving of his player of the month after his crazy four goal performance. Uh, what was that a couple weeks ago but he's gonna get a potm sbc today and it's gonna be early usually these are like even three hours sometimes four hours before the content drop i forget the exact time but it's usually very early morning so even after this video is out you might already see the cole palmer sbc i don't know what to expect here in terms of an sbc but i'd have to imagine that since his inform is what is it 86 rated this one would probably be an 87 like the prediction shows and hopefully they do give him a decent pace boost get him up to 80 pace that would be ideal so that could be our first sbc that we do have today but it's all about the promo team today guys total rush now crazy enough yesterday we had official leaked players posted the whole team and then a couple hours later we had the whole official team with official stats as well this is the total rush promo team coming today on this game mbappe 92 kevin de bruyne with plus 13 pace going to 80 pace overall that card's going to be insanely expensive that's going to be a very meta KDB version. Lauren James with a big boost as well with the Trickster Plus. Cristiano Ronaldo getting his first promo card of the year. Guys, it's a plus three overall for Ronaldo, but I think he's got like plus six pace or seven pace. He's got a big shooting boost and then a really big dribbling and physical boost. I think this Ronaldo, I mean, promo Ronaldo's early in the game are pretty common. We had the Trailblazers version last year and, you know, this Ronaldo is going to feel a lot better than the gold because he's going to have 86 dribbling instead of 80, right? He's going to have the five-star skills, the power shot he maintains as well, we would imagine. And then the physical boost, the pace boost, it's going to be an expensive Ronaldo. I don't know how expensive this one's going to be today, but it's Ronaldo. So he's going to be up there. Griezmann, not a big upgrade for him, but it's Griezmann. De Jong, a lot of people are looking at this Frankie De Jong card, especially with Trivella Plus. And they're saying that this might end up being one of the most meta midfielders in the game. He got a pretty sizable boost as well with uh, plus six shooting on the card, plus five defending, and plus six physical along with plus three pace. And then uh, a couple uh, upgrades in passing and dribbling, some smaller upgrades there. But that looks like a really nuts card. And then on the bottom row here, you've got some really good players too. You've got Shuameni who can probably play center back still with a big time defense and physical boost, making it almost certain that he'd be able to play center back as an alternate position. As long as they give him some roles there, that could be an insane card. Marquinhos looks good. Williamson even looks pretty solid for an 80-paced women's center back. If she has aerial, that could be very usable. Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to be one of the most hyped cards in this promo team as well, especially if they give him a position change. Look at the boost that Trent has got. Guys, Trent's gold card has 80 dribbling and 87 defending. This version has 86 dribbling and 87 defending he got plus six uh, dribbling plus seven defending plus six physical and of course the big pace boost there plus seven pace as well wow we're gonna have to see if trent has alternate positions in the midfield because this could be a really really crazy card for him again we don't know exactly what this promo is about in terms of like yes it's somehow intertwined with rush but what else are EA going to do to these cards? Or is it just going to be like a stat boost and make them cool and just kind of be like a normal promo? Or is there going to be something special about this? Now, just to mention these last couple of cards here. As for the Quetta, he's going to be cheap, but he might be really fun. Boosted uh, card for him. Savava from Lyon. I forgot that she transferred from uh, the Madrid women's team to Lyon. Those are some really interesting links. Depending on if she has a playstyle plus or not, that card could take over for maybe somebody like Basha um, as the same club, uh, Lyon links there. And then, of course, you've got maybe whipped pass. Who knows? But 84 rated will probably be pretty cheap. Now, again, I want to mention... EA yesterday was tweeting out, what's your role in the squad? Total rush drops Friday. Now, I don't know if they're just playing on kind of the fact that, you know, when you're playing rush, you got, you got to have some people who defend, some people who are in the midfield and create, and then some people who are in the attack. Of course, rush is always just kind of, it's a madness anyway with maybe people not even passing or just AFKing the games. I'm hearing that that happens a lot. But EA's tweeting this out showing kind of like the roles, right? Inside forward, deep lying playmaker. Falls back. This other picture is poacher, box to box, ball playing defender, and playmaker as well. So, is there something coming with roles? Are they going to add roles to maybe some of the new players that are coming out? Like in the little in game teaser menu, this I wouldn't even call this a loading screen. It's kind of just like a teaser picture in the menus. 
it says here every rush side needs an inside forward but with lauren james's card i believe she already has inside forward she might even have inside forward plus plus she has inside forward plus plus at the right wing position so what does that mean are they going to add inside forward to like a position change and make her a left wing and give her the ability to play that too very curious on how the roles especially because ea have tweeted about it and uh, mentioned it here how they're going to play a factor in today's promo team but regardless of that these cards look pretty juiced, to be fair. The Ronaldo, especially the De Jong, the Trent, the De Bruyne, I have to imagine they're they're not going to be super duper packable. But once again, like we said, guys, this is Rush related content. Rush is EA's brand new big addition to the game. I have to imagine this promo is going to be somewhat hype just because of that. I'm not saying that these cards are going to be so packable it's going to crash the market. I don't know. I'm really curious to see how EA go about this today and make it hype and exciting because I, I'm looking forward to it. It kind of needs to be, right? I would love a promo to kind of match the hype of the Rush mode, which was really hype at the beginning. Maybe it's fallen off a little bit. Hopefully, this is the biggest thing. Hopefully, this just gives us new events in Rush, new objectives, and new reasons, really, to play the Rush mode outside of the weekly objectives and to get your Rush points, which is so, so easy to get. So, that's what I'm really curious to see today, and I'm just really interested to see how they interact uh, with these promo cards. Maybe you have to use a total rush card in rush. That could impact the market as well. Like, imagine Aspilicueta is like 50k on the, or 60k on the market instead of 20,000 coins because you have to use him or any singular player from a total rush team in rush to get bonus points or something like that. You know, I could see something like that happening today too. So just kind of, just thinking, just trying to think out of the box as to what this promo could look like today, but we're gonna find out soon enough. Now, with a promo Friday, what do we always look forward to as well? Obviously, the SBCs. And last Friday, we had big names, but also big prices. EA didn't really deliver on the Nico Williams, kind of on the Lamina Mall, kind of not. But especially the Nico Williams, we thought was very overpriced. Now, we have two leaked SBC cards right now, both with official stats as well, which is crazy how we have official stats for these SBC players as well. The first one, and I just saw this one, Raheem Sterling. 90 pace, 85 shooting, 88 dribbling, 75 physical. This is his official card. Now, I want to compare it to his gold card here in a second. But as I'm looking at this card right now, I'm thinking we just looked at that evolved version of Marcus Rashford. This one has one more pace, less shooting, a little bit more dribbling, but he does not have a power shot plus play style like Rashford does. So I'm right away thinking, okay, if that Rashford card is out, and available to a lot of people like is this one really better well we'll get to that in a second sterling is three star weak foot four star skills i mean that is a pretty sizable boost he's getting plus five pace he's going from 78 shooting to 85 it's going to depend on the price this sbc for me guys this sbc looks decent but there's got to be something else special added to it whether they make him four four whether they give him different roll plus pluses again I would imagine this is our SBC today, right? Because usually the biggest name player that is leaked, you would expect them to be the Friday content SBC. But may maybe it's just me. But this one for me right now is kind of like, hmm, interesting. Sterling's always pretty good, though. Remember the Sterling that we had last year? Uh, what was it? Uh, I forget what Sterling we had. But we had a Sterling, was it Foot Birthday or something like that? That was a pretty good card um, that a lot of people went out and got done. I think one had five-star skills and one had a five-star weak foot. If you remember that version of Sterling. That was a pretty hype card. A lot of people did him. I don't know. I have mixed thoughts on this one today, but my guess is that Sterling would be today's player SBC. We'll have to see. Now, the other player who's leaked right now is Iwobi as an SBC as well. And the interesting thing about Iwobi is if you take a look at his gold card, he can play a bunch of different positions. And I'm going to show you guys this right now. This could end up being a really cracked, a sneaky cracked SBC. He can play left mid, right mid, right wing, and center mid and inside of his roles he has no center mid roles but if can you imagine if ea gave this guy like box to box for this sbc card right here a 90 dribbling 86 pace and 84 passing but also with 85 physical and usable defense in 70 as like a box to box midfielder links to a dama Traore in a season that everybody wants to use because he's so cracked and has rapid plus this could be a sneaky good sbc card so Watch out for this one. I don't know if this is going to drop today, if they're going to do like two SBCs since both of them are leaked, or if this is going to be Saturday, Sunday. Also, maybe if they're, I mean, that upgrade looks too good even to be an objective card, but this also feels objective-esque to me, but it's leaked as an SBC, so we'll have to see. I would have to guess that Sterling is today, guys, as a promo Friday player SBC, and maybe it will be, will be later, 
but we'll just have to find out and go from there. So that's kind of our leaked SBC content. It doesn't live up to the big name as a Nico Williams or a Lamine Yamal or even a Diogo Jota, in my opinion. Sterling could have hype, though, because his left stick dribbling is probably going to be busted in this game. I haven't used his gold card. I haven't evolved him. But Sterling with the unique body type and his dribbling might be cracked. So we'll just see how that one has to play out. Now, of course, it's a promo Friday. We're going to get an evolution of some type. Will they give us an Evo that is related to Rush? I don't know. Again, questions that we have about today's promo for sure. But um, I do believe we'll get some sort of evolution today. Hopefully, it's a free one. We've had actually a lot of paid Evos. The 10,000 and the 50,000 coin one recently. So maybe they give us a free Evo today. Um, I don't know if we've had... Yeah, we've had a left back and a right back Evo. Maybe like... Maybe a right wing Evo. Because we haven't had too many of those, right? We've had some striker Evos. We had a right wing one, maybe a left wing one. I don't know. I'm just trying to think out of the box. What sort of evolution have we not had yet that we could get? Maybe left wing is next. We'll have to see. So I do would expect something in there for sure. And then obviously objectives, we'll get something inside of there as well. Now, let's talk about packs. Let's talk about the market a little bit and how today might go with that. Well, there's a couple crazy packs added to the code. The first one is this one. Deluxe season opener shooting pack. It's an 82 times 20. Five players are guaranteed to have 80 plus shooting or higher. That one's weird. Honestly, a little bit interesting. And that's not the craziest pack. It's just the first one that was added to the code. I don't expect all of these packs today, but I would expect to see them pretty soon. Week one total rush foundations pack with that week one in parentheses right there. That kind of tells us this might be a two week promo like road to the knockouts was. It's an 80 plus times 10 with 185 plus and then some lone rush players. Essential total rush week one pack is an 83 times five with a loan as well. And these are the, this is the pack, this one. And this is the one that's gonna have some impact. And a lot of people are gonna do. This is the biggest pack we've had so far on FC25 in terms of a store pack. Ready, set, rush pack includes 15 rare gold player items rated 84 or higher. That's going to be like probably you would think seven or I don't know, maybe not that many walkouts, but let's say an out of pack of 15 players, like an 84 times 15, you're probably going to get half of it being 84s. That's going to be like at least seven walkouts you'd imagine, hopefully, right? Includes five attackers, five midfielders, and five defenders or goalkeepers. It's really interesting that the pack is segmented like that. I honestly wonder if that'll make it better odds statistically to get some higher rated players since it's pooling pulling from those specific pools of players i'm really curious to see how that goes but this might be our most expensive pack in the store yet it is untradeable mind you so it's not going to flood the market with supply and it might not even drop today but that is one of the biggest store packs that we have had thus far and once again guys remember what they did last friday they dropped four u packs in the store and i really think there's a good opportunity that today on friday we could get that one pack that we've been worried about recently that walk the walk pack do you guys remember that one that we looked at last week I'm trying to find the pack code for it really quickly right now, but that walk the walk pack is the one that really has, yeah, here it is. We got it quick. You're seeing this pack because you've entered ultimate team at least 14 days. Today is 14 days, two weeks since the full release of the game. It includes 10 rare golds with one guaranteed to be 86 or above. Can't read the rest of the pack, but all of these have been tradable so far. If they drop that today, that's going to mean supply for the market. And a lot of people were going to do it if it's somewhat affordable because of that guaranteed 86 walkout feature of the pack itself. As we open our preview pack, did we get anything here? Undav, okay, no, Bayern Munich away kit, probably doesn't sell. All right, well, just watch out for the For You pack section today because that could mess up some of the market and impact prices on this game as well. Now, as we talk about the market, guys, I'm going into content liquid today. The cards that I'm the, feeling the most safe about would be Road to the Knockouts, but I would expect these to also get Panic Soul today. I picked up a Frim Pong yesterday for uh, 617,000 coins. He is really rare. He's like 680k right now. I could take the cash, sure. Trent's coming today. Am I worried about that? Not necessarily. But do I also not love that there's not very many Bundesliga players in this promo team? Don't, not a huge fan of that as well. So I'll probably take the money on Frim Pong before content today. But guys, the last two promo Fridays, do you remember what has happened, right? What has happened the last two promo Fridays is we have had a market that has dropped into content heavy let's take a look at somebody like Antoine Griezmann I know that he's going out of packs I'm not a huge fan of this investment by the way a lot of people have been asking me Nate should I buy Griezmann right now 
I would not buy him right now, right? He's obviously spiking because he's getting a promo card and he's going out of packs. Wait for a panic selling at any point in the day today on a card like this Griezmann or maybe a card like, if we look at the promo team, um, maybe De Jong. You want to buy gold De Jong or you want to buy gold... Probably just Griezmann or De Jong, or maybe Lauren James. If there's panic selling on those cards after content or at some point, even before content today, that would be the time to probably go ahead and pick those up. But just take a look at Griezmann's graph from last week, right? Last week, we had a big market rise, just like we're having this week. Into Friday morning, Foot Champ starts. He's up big, 113K for Griezmann. Into the content drop time, panic sold big time. He goes down, content comes out, he bounces up a little bit. This is not the best example, to be honest, because he keeps going further down in price after that. But you, last week, if you guys remember, we saw out of the content drop. Remember, I bought Sophia Smith on stream. I bought a Sophia Smith at content for like 230,000 coins, and she exploded to 270. It's probably not even going to show here, right? She went down from 270 to 228 and then you can see here the graph goes back up to 252 there was a big buyback in that first hour because people saw the nico williams was so expensive they saw the road to the knockout cards were barely on the market they were so rare and tough to pack so the market on the top tier meta cards rebounded back but then it came right back down late Friday night, early Saturday morning, like we saw on that Griezmann card, like we see here on Sophia Smith. You've got weekend league rewards, you've got new cards coming into packs. You've got SPCs and EVOs that people are going to be trying out. I do expect the market to drop today. I do. So I think if you've got gold cards like this, I would probably sell them. Take the coins now on this high point, and I don't expect the market to like just fly after content today unless there is a short window of flipping opportunity like we saw in the previous weeks. If there's panic selling before content, then I think you could see a bit of a rise after. If there's not much panic selling before content today and prices aren't dropping at all, you're probably not going to see much of a bounce because if it's, if there's people panic selling, that means there's people that are ready to buy again for teams. And if people are not panicking, where's that demand going to come from? There's probably not going to be as much of it and prices will probably just drop after content. So I mentioned Road to the Knockouts and feeling the safest about these cards because these are out of packs, they're live, and if we take Team 1 of Road to the Knockouts as our queue, these cards have just absolutely exploded in value. Team 2, they had more supply, there was weekend league rewards, there was the 4U packs, of course. Some of these cards seem like they need to drop down again to maybe their lowest point before I'd want to invest again. Like when I say lowest point, Garnacho was 330, 325, he's now 360. Harry Kane's up like 40k, he was 680. Uh, Dybala was 690 yesterday, 740. Havertz is up 40k as well. I would want to see some more dips on some of these card prices before I would want to invest, but this would be one of the safest parts of the market that if you see drops today, like let's say Garnacho drops because we have a six sterling, like maybe this is really cheap and a lot of people want to do them or there's something about this card that makes it cracked then Garnacho might drop. You might have an investment opportunity. That's one thing I would watch for with these and all of the out-of-pack specials because this is about as safe as it gets for a trade today on this game. But if you're looking to buy a team today, I would probably tell you if you're going to buy a team, go ahead and do it. Have fun. Of course, you got to go get those games in. You got to use the players you need to use. But I think prices will be dropping after content today like they did last Friday. Um, that happens kind of every single week on promo Fridays. I think that's going to be a trend this year as well in FC 25. So I think prices will get low late Friday night. People will wake up on Saturday, go and play their foot champs games. You'll see some prices go up. But then once again, we're looking at Saturday night around squad battle rewards as a good time to buy players, golds included, after they've kind of had the market reset and the supply from the weekend has come in and the prices drop down. That would be a good time, supposedly, as we're looking at it right now, to pick up some players for your team that you could actually hold for a couple more days into the midweek next week. Now, again, prices on a lot of icons, heroes, like I'm looking at Rio. I sniped Rio at 1.2 flat yesterday, sold him for 1.33. Slime to Carlos at 1.3 flat, sold him for 1.47. We've had some really good trades and flips, but the market is very, very high. I do think it's going to cool off a bit today, but it still should be really, really good for trading because this market right now has a lot of coins. The weekend league rewards are giving out a lot of coins. And man, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's some sort of demand for rush today. We're going to have to think on our toes and see what sort of content EA drop around that. Ooh, really quickly, got to talk about fodder. If you want to make really, really easy coins today, the best way to make coins is bid on this stuff. Bid on 87s, 88s, and 89s. 89s are getting back down. Getting back down to like the low 20K range. These cards, I don't know, man. If there's not an SBC today that doesn't like require an 88 rated squad, like if Sterling is cheap and has lower rated squads, 
these cards could drop down again and i think it could be a great investment 21 22 000 coins is what i would look to get for these 89s i think that's an incredible investment opportunity for a longer term investment but you can start stocking those in the club because every day that goes by is one day closer to an icon player sbc or maybe our first max whatever rating icon player um upgrade sbc that i mean that we could see higher rated squads for. Now we've already seen a couple higher rated squads, right? For a player of the month SBC or for Varan. We saw that in there, but that time is coming soon where we'll get more 88 rated squad requirements, maybe our first 89 of the year. And you can see these moves. So that's kind of like a over this weekend, get on the uh, watch for the 88s and the 89s. But I think today, if you're just wanting to grind the market, get on bids for 86s, 7s, 8s. They will drop. And they could have some fluctuations depending on our player species, but they should drop a bit and it should create opportunities to make some coins. And if you want to just flip and trade icons, heroes out of pack specials, that's where we're going to reside for the quick flips because man, these cards, they get listed up. People think they're at their old prices or maybe they're looking at the average prices or something. Messi's not 170K average price on the market right now, guys. Messi is currently... 194k 200,000 coins these cards are amazing to trade with look at out of pack specials and look at icons and heroes they are easy coins so that's enough yapping from me but it's going to be a big promo friday today i can't wait to open some of these packs get involved with the total rush promo today and see what surprises ea may have for us of course if you guys have any questions drop them down below in the comments and of course if you're new around here drop a subscription to the channel we upload videos every single day over the content the market making coins and keeping you guys up to date on everything related to fc25 oh yeah if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it and check the stream link twitch.tv slash the foot account down below in the description we will be live th there today about an hour before content as we get ready for total rush on fc25 so again if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up on it i'll see you guys in the stream today it's been nathan account see you there peace